Hello and welcome my dear students to my channel Mathematics Made Easy. As your math exam is very near now, so I am back Ms. Ruchika to help you for your exam review. And this video is specially made for um, my students who are going to give the grade 9 elite math exam for term 3. In this video, we are going to discuss in detail the exam pattern for your coming exam of math especially for grade 9 elite and we are going to look at part 1 part 2 part 3 and how the exam uh, questions will be there in your final exam so let's get started okay so now we are going to understand the exam coverage that has come for grade 9 elite so there are total number of 25 questions which have three parts and some bonus questions so the first part is going to have 10 questions having three marks each so a total of 30 marks will be there for part one then you have part two where you have five marks question again part one and part two are online and multiple choice uh, questions so you need to just select the correct option while you are doing the online exam and for part two there are going to be again 10 questions each having five marks so a total of 50 marks for part two Finally, we have part 3, which is the free response uh, part where you have to show your steps, show your working and you will be having the pen and paper based test. So there will be a printout, there will be a hard copy for this part of the exam and each question here is going to carry around 6 to 7 marks. So there will be 3 questions and it is a total of 20 marks that is going to come for part 3. And to add to this, there are going to be 2 bonus questions each carrying five marks where again you have to show your steps it's going to be a free response part so in all total you have 110 marks and the duration of the exam is 150 minutes so it's two hour and 30 minutes more so you have enough time do all the questions well and the mode of implementation would be the online part would be in swift access where you have to choose the correct op uh, option for the multiple choice and the pen and paper test would be the printout where you have to show the working. For grade 9 elite, calculator for ministry exam is not allowed. Keep that in your mind while you do the exam. Now I'm going to discuss the part 1 uh, in detail. So for part 1, as I told you already, there are going to be 3 marks questions, which are going to be 10 questions. So total is 30 marks. And if you see the learning outcomes that will be accessed here uh, for this part, it is... Uh, from defining sample space and describing subsets of sample spaces. So questions 1 to 4, uh, which are given in your book on page 364 will be taken. Similarly, apply the fundamental counting principle from uh, examples 5 to 7 on page 364. Then you have uh, next part as determining if a function is 1, 1 and on 2. Examples 1 to 4 from page 430. Similarly, solve linear equations, example 1 to 4 on page 500 and so on. So these are the 10 learning outcomes, each having different questions and page numbers as per your book. Next, we are going to have 5 marks question, which is going to be part 2. In this part, the outcomes that will be accessed for your uh, exam are from learning objective 11 to 20. So for example, you have... Here, the learning objective, describe events as subsets of sample spaces by using complement. So the examples which are given in your book on page uh, 378, examples 11 to 14, these are important. Your ministry exam is going to be from these questions. So prepare all these questions as per this list of learning outcomes very well. Last but not the least, you have the very, very important part of the question, which are the long questions or the free response carrying six to seven marks each. For Here you are going to have the questions from the learning objective. Apply the addition rule to situations involving events that are not mutually exclusive. The examples will be taken from page 412, example 25 to 30. And similarly, these are the five questions that will come in part three in the pen and paper. Remember, two are bonus questions, 24 and 25. So this can be anywhere from the scheme of work. This is undisclosed. But then some important points you need to keep in mind is that the questions may appear in a different order in your actual exam as uh, from what is given in this list. So keep that in mind and do practice very well. To the end of this video, 
Thank you for watching the video. Stay glued to my channel and don't forget to subscribe for more revision videos, especially coming for grade 9 elite. The next video that I will upload on my channel would be covering the important questions from part 1. So stay glued and see you in my next video. Bye students.